Last night I bought this little powerhouse 2000 uh, watt generator. Um, got it for 20 bucks. And it was a basket case. It was in a bunch of pieces. And uh, the problem was it had zero compression. So you'd pull it over and it's just no resistance at all. It, uh, you know, felt like the spark plug was out. So, you know, I gave it a shot. The guy said that it ran good before. Uh, he said it kind of quit on him as if it ran out of gas and uh, it didn't stop making electricity or anything like that. So I took a chance that the inverter was good. Last night I took it apart and I found that this uh, um, decompression system on the valve had broke on the, sorry, not the valve, on the cam had broken and the timing chain fell down in the case. So that's why it had no compression. Uh, so long story short, I just took off that decompression system and uh, put the cam back together and got it running just so that uh, I knew that I had a good generator, um, that it would work. I also found like bad bearings and stuff in here. So I'll uh, put a video of the generator running after I reassembled it, like with the bad cam in it and everything. Here's the generator running uh, with a 1500 watt load. And it was doing really well. It was nice and quiet. Um, yeah, this is with the uh, bad decompression uh, assembly. So it was pretty hard to pull over, but once it started, it ran normally. One other thing I want to mention is you can kind of hear the bad cam bearing. It has a rattly sound, and I believe that's what that is. This bearing here is just totaled. It's uh, kind of hard to show. How can I do this? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this bearing is just completely done. So I have a new camshaft coming, and it should have the weight on it and the new bearing and everything. Um, but yeah, to take this thing apart is actually not so bad once you've done it a couple times. So basically what I start off with is on the fuel side, um, I take all the bolts holding the case halves together. Then I open up that side panel. I pull off the fuel hoses from the primer bulb, the impulse line, um, and the, f the main fuel from the pump to the carb. And then I take that side off with the fuel tank all together. And then I go over to the other side. Oh no, you have to take the feet off first, sorry. So you take off all the, the screws, then you take off the feet, then you can do the fuel side. Then you can get the other side to wiggle away and then you just disconnect all these wires. I don't think you can mix them up, but it's a good idea to just label them and uh, you know, make sure that you put them back in the right spot. Then I pull off the carburetor, uh, exhaust system, muffler, and everything. And then there's two um, air guards, or not air guards, what am I talking about? <sighs> like ducting, like uh, shrouds, that's what it's called. Shrouds that go around the engine to keep it cool. You pull those off, and... Uh, yeah, then you have access to the uh, valve cover. Now, when this chain fell down into the engine, I had to pull the head off to retrieve it because it was a little bit too far, a little bit too dark to uh, get to. So um, that's what I did last time. I just kind of used a long pick, pulled it up, and kind of dangled it down here and got it onto that bottom sprocket. Um, then I just held it up with tension shimmied this uh, cam in and I just made sure that the piston was at TDC and this dot right there was facing up and that's what worked out for me so when I when I replace this cam I'm just gonna basically slip it out like this and then pull it out make sure I keep tension on this so it doesn't come off that bottom sprocket and then do the reverse 
So I'll, I'll uh, come back when I receive that new sprocket. It should be here pretty soon. I ordered it on eBay. It was uh, 26 bucks. Um, sorry, new cam. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it is after that. One other thing I forgot to mention here is, uh, yeah, when you're when you're messing with this uh, timing chain and everything, just pull out the, the tensioner. And um, uh, another note is when you have the head off, you're able to pull out um, this chain guide. It goes down, you can get it out from the top, which made it a lot easier to mess around with that uh, cam chain. It's a couple days later now, and I've got my new camshaft assembly. And you can see this is the, um, what's it called, the decompression mechanism. That's what broke off when the uh, timing chain uh, came off the sprocket. So I found one of these little screws down in the engine case, and it had like sheared in half. So that's why this went uh, flying around and caused the sprocket to, uh, or the chain to come off the sprocket. And obviously it has the bearings on it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grease these bearings uh, just with some uh, wheel bearing grease so then it doesn't start up dry. And um, I've got the other cam out right now. So I'll, uh, I'll show you when I have that all in. And uh, one other thing I did was I got the engine set to top dead center. And I made myself a little mark here. And I painted in there one of those fins on the, uh, that's connected to the crank. So that's just a fan there, but I painted the fin green and then I put a little notch just to uh, help me line up the timing. And if anyone was curious, this is the, uh, that right there is the part number that I came up with. And there's the other uh, information there. So I got my cam greased up the bearings see I've got the grease coming right through the ball bearings there and I just smeared it all over the lobes too just to help it uh, on the first startup but uh, yeah after this runs for a while I'm gonna change the oil so it should the grease should melt into the oil and then get flushed out when I do the oil change okay so I just kind of threw the cam in there loosely um, yeah, I can't do this one. It's all back together and running. And it's super quiet now. 